What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode on the DJ Network. Your host, DJ Busby, is here with another video, and this may possibly be one of the single most important videos I ever do on this channel. This episode is all about branding. Branding, 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 branding. I cannot stress how important that is in 2017 and going forward as a DJ. I could go into it, but I found an incredible video that's gone viral about what a DJ is in this day and age. So I'm just gonna let that roll and get right back to you guys. The purpose of the DJ now is how many people can walk into the club if I put you on my flyer. It's not about playing the best music. That's why pure DJs are frustrated with what's going on. Mm. So then what started happening was the popular DJs surpassed the talented DJs. Mm -hmm. Then when the, pop, when the popular DJs go, then they go, why pay a popular DJ when I can pay a celebrity DJ and get a whole bunch of more motherfuckers through the door? So with all that being said, the key, the key, the key is branding, branding, branding. How do you brand yourself as a DJ? We're going to talk about that right now. Now branding, what does it mean to brand yourself as a DJ? That means getting your logo, getting your name out there as much as possible. That doesn't mean spam, that just means positioning your logo, positioning your name in places where a lot of people are going to hear that. The first place we're going to start is your workstation, your laptop. Very important that you get your logo somewhere on your laptop. You're going to want to get it right here at the front. This is not a case on its own. This right here is a laptop sticker. There's a company that distributes them in my city, Toronto, but there's companies all over the world and companies that ship internationally. I'm gonna post a link down below to somebody that I bought from last year. Not only can you get the laptop sticker for the front of your laptop, you could also get one for right there by your touch bar under the keyboard. You might be asking, why do I need a sticker up my laptop? It's very important because when people are taking pictures of you in nightclubs, you know how they have photography. Once they take pictures of the DJ booth, that picture is gonna be circulated by the promoters of the party after the event. On top of that, people are looking at the DJ booth when the party's going on. If they hear that you're playing well, they wanna see who's DJing, they don't have to look at an Apple logo. They could see your logo nice and bright. Branding. Next, we're gonna talk about gear. Now, gear. Anywhere you go in the world, you're going to have places that sell blank sweaters, blank t-shirts, blank hats with nothing on them, no logo. All you have to do is buy that and you could either get it printed on the shirt like this, either in a regular color or what I did, I got this nice glitter look. So in the nightclubs, when the lights are shining, it looks extra good. People will be coming up to you and if they like your stuff, if they like your music, they want to support, they might ask you for clothing. You could also stitch. Now what I did, I got blank hats from Lids in my city. Lids, anywhere where your hat store is, just go look for blank hats. This one is a leather hat and I got this hat done. On the front, you can see this old saying, but it's a very dope tune in some of the parties that I roll in. So I'm gonna put that link down below. Check out that song, it's a very inspirational song. But as I said, you can put anything you want next to anything you want on these hats. I put a saying on front, I put my logo right there on the side, sometimes I rock my hat like this, and branding, it's key. Again, photos. People are gonna be taking photos of you, so get your gear in order, get your logo on everything. Branding. So taking it a step further with apparel now. Getting your apparel in a place where you could start selling it to customers. Now the people that are out there in your parties, out there listening to your podcasts, your mixes, you on the radio, whatever have you, those people are really fans of your brand. Now don't get me wrong, branding is key, branding is essential, but talent is the variable. You need to make sure that your talent is on point because if the product is shit, nobody is gonna give a fuck about the brand. Remember that. So make sure the music's good, but when the music is good, people are going to like you for what you do. So they will start to request, you're gonna notice it, they'll start to request clothing that they could wear and support you in parties. Anything, it doesn't have to be a sweater, a t-shirt, a hat. You can go outside of the box and just think of what you would normally wear, put your logo on it and start selling it. Now, what you could do, what I personally did, was got a whole bunch of booty shorts and gave it to a whole bunch of girls which you're about to see right now. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna start to go in parties and do stuff like this. And when 20 guys are around them looking at their butt, what's happening? 
branding. They're looking at your logo. They're looking at the girl's butt first and foremost, but your logo's there. So the more your logo is constantly circulating in their heads, the better. On top of branding visually, you want to make sure that you have DJ drops in all your mixes. You want to have a small drop that says your DJ names for when you're in parties so that you play it. Anytime you do a sick mix, drop DJ, the drop. Busby. Just as simple as that. Get your voice heard. Get your name out there. Branding. Get your name on mixes. And when I say mixes, you got to do a lot of those. So SoundCloud, MixCloud, Mediafire, sending it to your friends to download all platforms if you know any other platforms let me know down below because you know how the copyright thing goes another step to take in regards to branding is ensuring your social media is on point when i say social media i'm talking every platform snapchat instagram facebook twitter youtube etc every platform you use make sure it's on point make sure your logo is in almost everything make sure you're advertising the parties that you're on your logos on it or advertising that you're just simply going to be playing at a certain event always having your name circulated in people's heads throughout the week is an ex is an essential thing trust me now sort of taking a step back jumping back to the very start before you even get your logo done in the first place you want to put some thought into it. You can't just have any and everything out there as a logo. You want to make sure there's some thought in it. Whatever name you have, is there anything that represents your name? The logo itself, can you play on the logo and do more with it? Things like that. You want to have something that's very user friendly and stuff that you could play with, stuff that you could use, stuff that you could stuff that you could alter down in the future. Like personally, what I did, I got this as my DJ logo, but I have the borders around it and I change it up so where it says music at the bottom. If I'm doing the YouTube thing, for instance, Busby TV, which I have besides the DJ network, Busby TV, I'll change this headphone into a little TV and put Busby TV. I also have Busby Media. So I changed that headphone into a little screen monitor with a little paintbrush and put Busby Media for my media, my graphic design, my video production, all that stuff that I sell to customers. I purposely position the logo like this because I'm doing different things besides DJing so I can play with the logo as I need to when I dive into different projects because I'm not just doing music. I'm doing a whole lot more behind that. Another tip I have because visuals are so important is not just to have a 2D image circulating on everything. You want to make sure your video production is on point. So what I did when I first released my logo is I went and got one of these videos done. I'm going to show you guys that right now. Yeah, I know that was sick, <laughs> but realistically, it does not take that much to find out how to get that done. If you are not capable of doing it yourself, you don't have the appropriate video software. People do sell that kind of stuff online. I personally am able to sell it. So if you want, my contact information is down below in terms of your logo itself. I'm going to link the person that did my logo right down below. He's very professional with his work. He gets stuff done and he does a lot of big corporations logos. So contact him if you need a logo done, he will work with you. Make sure your product is on point. Once again, people, the brand is everything and every step you could do to make your brand as good as possible is what you need to do in order to be successful as a DJ in this day and age. It's not just mixing on the turntables anymore. It's how many people you could bring to a party and that is directly related to branding. If I missed anything in this video down below, simply comment and type what you think is important when it comes to branding as a DJ. Anything I missed, guys, make sure I want to get the bottom going as a conversation area, as a whole DJ community. Thank you so much, guys. We just reached 100 plus subscribers. I think we're at about 120 now. Thank you guys so much. It's crazy. I haven't even really put effort into this YouTube channel yet, and subscribers have just been going up like crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support. Tell a friend, especially a DJ friend. We're going to have more content coming for DJs and fans alike. So it's not just for DJs. And make sure to tune into the next episode because I have something being shipped to me right now. And it's a very, very, very huge, huge surprise. It is an incredible piece of equipment. So many DJs around the world either have it or want it so bad. Make sure you tune into the next episode on the DJ Network.
I actually kind of like this shit now. But don't y'all tell that bum nothing.